Hi, my name is Olita, and I'm going to be doing a Q&A with my best friend Juliet. New music I'm fond of. I really like Post Malone's album and um, Kehlani's album that just came out is super amazing for dancing and going out. Um, and Maren Morris, I love her so much. It has a little bit of 90s pop influence and a little bit more fun. The theme expressed in my music varies on a project by project basis. Like my last EP was, was um, obviously all about me being in love with somebody and them not loving me back. Um, but this next EP is more just about um, feeling empowered, female empowerment, and being independent and um, fighting the patriarchy. I think my favorite item in the merch shop uh, is definitely the stickers because this amazing artist named Sonia designed them and it was really cool to see images that I made put into a line drawing. But of course the necklace I think will always be number one. My favorite song right now Honestly, uh, I think Alicia Keys' song in common. I think I just love the message of that song. I think we need that song right now. And it's also a fun song to walk down the streets of New York to. And also 24 Karat Magic. So cheesy, but uh, so fun. I love that song so much. My favorite band, I think, is Fleetwood Mac. I definitely feel this wave of love coming from Brazil, and I know I need to go there ASAP. So. I promise I am uh, planning a Brazilian tour. Right now my favorite film would probably be The Handmaiden. Um, yeah, you guys should all go watch that if you haven't seen it yet. It's super good. It's a lesbian Korean gothic thriller. So. My favorite European country would have to be Denmark just because I have a lot of family there and I feel the most connected to that country. And everybody there is so lovely and happy all the time. It is the happiest country in the world. Everything is so beautiful. My life goal is probably to have a farm in Malibu and that has a recording studio on it and a really beautiful outdoor space with tons of fairy lights to host my friends and make dinner uh, that I grew in my garden. Yeah. If I could visit any country in the world, it would be Brazil just to meet all of you guys. So. My favorite thing about my girlfriend is her infectious positivity and she's definitely the one, one of the most sunny people that I know. And yeah, it's my favorite part of her. If I could describe myself uh, in three emojis, I think I would describe myself the sun emoji, the crystal ball emoji, and the little ghost emoji. I never really told my family that I liked girls. Um, I just kind of said it through my work and they gradually just grew to understand. Yeah, I was actually, Luna, I was like talking to Luna a few months ago and she, my little sister, and um, she said someone had asked her like, when did Zoe come out to you? And she's like, oh, I didn't really, like, she didn't really, didn't I didn't really have a coming out, yeah. My first crush that I, like conscious crush would be Kristen Stewart uh, in Twilight, 100%. And I've said this before, but that was when, you know, everybody was obsessed with Edward and Jacob and I was obsessed with Bella and like didn't understand why everybody hated her so much. Um, but I feel like my first crush, probably in the past, would be like Avril Lavigne. I don't, yeah. But I don't think I, that was like, I didn't make that a romantic thing in my head yet. I just thought she was really cool. My favorite thing to do in my free time is Kundalini yoga and cooking. I love cooking so much. I'm definitely planning on making an album um, after this next EP. Musically, my biggest inspiration would be Lady Gaga um, because she, not only is she an incredible artist, but she really brought LGBT um, politics into the forefront in the mainstream. In life, I'd say all of the mother figures that I've ever had, um, including my own mom, of course, she's the strongest person that I know. I, of course, uh, fear that singing about lesbian love might affect my mainstream success, but it's way more important for me to sing something that is honest to to me and something that I believe in and something that I know is going to connect with people um, and not find mainstream success. It's like more important for me to be, to be honest um, and make art that I believe in. Figuring out my sexuality wasn't really easy, I think, because I didn't have a lot of lesbian role models growing up. Uh, there weren't a lot of like femme lesbians in, um, in the mainstream media. And so I didn't think that that was ever an option. I just thought that I like, didn't like men. I didn't think like, oh, I like women. 
And um, that didn't happen. I didn't figure that out until I saw um, a feminine lesbian in the media, which was Santana and Glee. But yeah. And then after that, it took me a few years to, to fully accept it and like slowly coming out to friends. And yeah, I remember when I told, I never really told you. Do you remember that? Yeah. We were like in the kitchen. We didn't like say, well, we were talking about like, it was like a dance or something, right? And I was like, oh, you could like ask him or something. And you were like, Julia. I go, Julia. And I was Julia. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. We didn't even say it. Yeah, we didn't say it. Yeah, no, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah. My favorite part about making music videos is um, all of the hard work that goes into it before, you know, coming up with the idea and like all the people that I collaborate with are so talented. And um, but the best part, obviously, is during production, like the few days that you're actually working with all of those people and everything that you've been working so hard for comes to life and you've like created this whole separate, you've created this whole separate world, it's insane. Um, and working with people that inspire me so much and that the fact that they, you know, take the time out um, to work on my project too and believe in the vision is like the best feeling in the whole entire world. So making music videos is what I want to do for the rest. It's my favorite thing. Um, and my favorite thing about performing, I think, is uh, so when people know your music or when people know your songs and and um, and you're feeding off of that energy and they're singing it back to you and stuff. That yeah, that was that's the best feeling. Definitely planning on doing meet and greets because I want to meet all of you guys. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight.